Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jados X here and welcome to Mini Top Monday episode 12 where today I'm going to show you guys how to leverage the power of CUDA in After Effects CS6. A quick bit of background for you guys. A computer has a CPU and a GPU. The CPU or processor as most people just call it does a whole heap of general broad tasks really well. The, most CPUs will run it you know, for between about 3 GHz nowadays, they're made by Intel or AMD, they do all the thinking for your computer. The graphics card is responsible for all the screen drawing, things like doing the 3D rendering in games or even just the 2D dr screen drawing you see every single day when you use your computer. The GPU is many, many, many times faster than the CPU at what it can do in all the visual things. But the CPU can do a lot more. So whilst the graphics card is ridiculously powerful, so much more powerful than the processor in fact, it just can't replace it because it just cannot do these general computing tasks unless you're using CUDA. So CUDA is a technology developed by NVIDIA which allows you to do general computing on the graphics card and this is great news because you can leverage that immense power which is essentially untapped in most cases and After Effects CS6 has direct support for CUDA. The troubling thing is though if no one tells you what to do it's a bit hard to work out what to do to actually get it to work because the thing is that CUDA isn't actually bundled with the NVIDIA GeForce drivers by default. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it to work. The very first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the NVIDIA developer website which is at https colon slash slash developer dot nvidia dot com slash cuda dash downloads. That's a bit of a mouthful. So the link for that's in the description below and also in an annotation which should appear right here if you're using this on a computer. If you're viewing this on a computer, sorry. This will bring up this very page which you see here and it's got CUDA for Windows, Mac and Linux. You can feel free to download the CUDA Mac. It's interesting because um, most of the time the display drivers for Mac OS come straight from Apple, but CUDA in this case comes straight from NVIDIA. I've done this on a Mac and I'm about to do it for you guys on my Windows 8 PC here. So it works pretty much the same way in both as far as I can tell. The first thing which we're going to want to do is to pick your version. Luckily Linux looks a little complicated there so I'm just going to stick with Windows. I use Windows 8 64 bit desktop so just going to click that and you would click save. I've already downloaded it though so I'm just going to click cancel and save my precious internet. And here's the installer downloaded right here. All we're going to have to do now is just go ahead and install it and that's the simple part done. I will initiate the install and I'll meet you on the other side. Welcome back everybody, I've finished my installation of CUDA and all that's left to do now is to enable it in After Effects. So to do that you go into Adobe After Effects, Edit, Preferences, Previews. When this window appears you click GPU Information and make sure in the ray tracing drop down that GPU is selected. At this point however you may have just followed along and found that your GPU option is greyed out despite installing CUDA that's okay. Basically what After Effects does to decide on whether to enable CUDA or not is it has a specific list of graphics cards which it can enable. Anything not on this list will not work despite installing CUDA. There is a, an easy workaround so don't worry you are not just being thrown into the deep end. You, you, will, you can get a fix for it. Um, however I should mention that you can only ever get CUDA to work at all if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. To um, Rather than tell you how to do the fixes myself, I should actually point you instead to two very good videos which explain it in far more depth than I have time for. The first one is for if you're on a Mac, and the second one is if you're on a PC. Both processors are basically the same, but since different systems have different file structures and whatnot, it's best to watch the one respective to your platform. You can check those out in the description. The first link is for Mac, and the second link is for PC, and they both also go into an in-depth uh, description on how to install it if anything I said wasn't very clear. Thank you very much. If you have any trouble with installations, feel free to comment and I'll see if I can help you out at all. Thank you very much, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Mini Top Monday.